Okay guys, welcome to a vlog. Okay, so you guys have been hounding me for a vlog and I get it, I get it, I get it. Nobody wants to see YouTube, I mean beauty tutorials, or day. I mean, it's a lot. And I guess, as you know, I feel some type of way about vlogging during this time because I'm at home. But you know what? I figured I'll do a sort of day in my life on a exciting day <laughs> but it's as exciting as it gets during a lockdown basically is what I'm trying to say um and that is um probably gonna be tomorrow obviously because um this video is gonna go up tomorrow so we will officially start the vlog in the morning but I am thinking of baking tonight about 25 to 7 either I'm thinking of baking or I'm thinking of making custard right but I think I'm leaning towards baking um I have this new device that I am obsessed with that I love to use from Smake <laughs> so any excuse to use that basically my heater is on so I hope you can hear me but um, other than that, um, that's what I figured I'll do for today's video is vlog a day in my life. Um, so that's why I'm starting it this evening. Yeah, obviously you'll see if I baked if I include that in this vlog. But that's all I can say for now. My lighting arrived that I got. I ordered um, two soft boxes. I'm sure you guys have seen, I think it was my Monday video or my video before this one where I basically used this this lighting for the first time and a lot of you left the comment I mean left the comments a lot of you loved noticed the lighting and said that you really like it so I'm happy I'm thinking of switching off my background a little bit the situation over there just ignore the Avon body lotion um but I'm thinking of switching up a few things there but I don't know we will see if that's a necessity and um yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog good morning <coughs> today is not going how i thought it would i have some errands to do today i'm changing bags <laughs> house keys car keys i'm loving this by the way from elizabeth arden but i do have a lipstick on my makeup is so neutral that i didn't know if i had a lipstick on or not i almost put that on top of the lipstick and we are off to run some errands gotta go to telcom i gotta get to well i'll explain everything in the car Pulse, and I was sort of just wanting them to kick in a little bit before I drove out and I, I feel sleepy I feel drowsy um, so <laughs> I don't know if that is a good idea and I don't recall allergy pills ever making me feel drowsy my hair's a mess I was lying on my bed so I don't recall allergy pills ever making me feel drowsy, so I don't know where to put this camera. So, um, basically, I'm actually gonna skip going to need this morning, even though I really wanted to go to this um, bakery and get this thing I've been craving for the longest time. Um, I'm just gonna instead to go do something super important to get a telecom. Which is very important before they close and then I'm gonna pop into Woolworths 
because I want to see something but I think Woolworths is also closing at like 5 p.m. but I think I will just have a look at the Woolworths that side and hopefully they have what I'm looking for and yeah I need to drive and I don't have any way to put this camera so I'll catch you guys on the flip side of these lovely um lipsticks liquid lipsticks and lip glosses just arrived from connie transform and i'm super excited it's the constance collection i think the packaging has changed since i last tried this stuff and i think it looks gorgeous this is a black owned um beauty brand um i know they also have eyeshadows that i actually want to um buy um and test out for you guys so i've never tried their lip glosses actually this is the high shine moisturizing lip gloss um constance beauty okay has she changed her name it's no longer connie transform wait i'm trying to see what's the difference between constance beauty and Honey Transform, but Constance Collection. Hmm. But um, I'm gonna hop in the shower first before I swatch these and try these on for you guys because I'm very excited about this. Okay, so it's this like frosted, frosted glass or frosted bottle. My mom is having a moment in the in her office. Um, I like this packaging. It's very cute. I like it. So I'm gonna try this out once I hop out the shower. And I can baby some. I also um got this sometime last week from Sue Ken, Australian Natural. I think it's like a plant-based um brand. I've gotten this stuff before actually, um, which I am truthfully yet to try. Um, but if you're into like natural plant-based cosmetics you can try these ones out oh wait i think i want to unbox this on instagram first before i open it here i also wanted to share this drop i got from sukin australia natural i think this is the plant-based um skincare brand which um arrived last week so let me unbox this for you guys really quickly I want to learn how to blind tag a brand so what you can do apparently on Instagram is blind tag a brand if I'm the last person to know this on the planet please don't need to reflect <laughs> on my reputation as a social media influencer because I don't know everything and a lot of the time I am out the loop I remember for like a few things like my friend Lauren showed me a few things that I could do on Instagram that I didn't know <laughs> so there's stuff that I'm out the loop of um, and it's not by force that I learn everything by the way but you learn as you go along so I just want to google how to blind tag a brand because apparently it's possible right <clears throat> I don't know why my computer takes so long to just get going. 
Okay, there's no actual setting, it's about more about hiding it. Alright, so let's see. Um, they wanted me to um, arrive last week. So let me unbox this for you guys really quickly. Also, I wanted to share this drop I got from Sukin Australia Natural. I think this is the plant-based um, skincare brand which um, arrived last week. This is what's inside the box. Um, um, so we have a reviving eye cream. You can see the plant based products here green coffee, well, green coffee. Um, pure ribose or ribose. This is a hydration elixir. I'm going to try this out for sure. Um, Pericris extract and wild cranberry oil hmm. Ooh, oil Ooh. okay this came out a good time because i didn't need that and rejuvenating day cream. you know what um, so let's see if i like this consistency hopefully it's what i need bit undecided about that one because oh, you guys really can see me. I'm really undecided about this one because the, the with okay it's an elixir so I think it's a facial oil that's the other thing I have to remember because I love facial oils um super rich ones my favorite is favorite of all time is the drunk elephant luxury the virgin marula luxury oil it's so good it's just sold out everywhere i can't get my hands on it unfortunately the second i like the second one that i like is Le Mer, the renewal oil um which those are strictly facial oils this is an elixir i'm gonna just find out the difference between an elixir versus an oil because it says it has the oil inside. So serums and elixirs equals to water, oil, actives, peptides. Oils are oils and essential oils. Moisturizers are water, oil, waxes, act actives. I would expect this elixir to have a... What? I would expect elixirs to be a thinner consistency to a facial oil from what I'm reading so perhaps that makes sense for the consistency that I'm feeling they are formulated with smaller molecules that are able to penetrate further into skin making them okay so I would use this after my serum before my moisturizer it would seem like because of the oil I would use it instead of my moisturizer so because it is rich um so yeah interesting i just had to google that quickly okay so i think i'm gonna hop on instagram <sighs> annoying text i think i'm gonna hop on instagram live and do my face and then i'm gonna swatch I want to swatch these Connie Transform lippies with you guys on this vlog as well because I'm excited to try them out. I'm expecting some deliveries today. I hope they come. I'm just expecting some skincare deliveries from Sensai. Um, and I'm expecting 
obviously the rug from house because I got some two scatter cushions from house for her to last week as well but hopefully my rug arrives today I pray it arrives today because I'm excited because I haven't had a rug in my office for a long time anyway okay guys so I want to swatch those Connie transform lipsticks for you guys I just did an Instagram good live get ready with me and um, like I said I found a solution to keeping them keeping it on my in my on my profile for like 24 hours there are actually quite a few and I don't want to I haven't done a lip swatch video in so long I don't want to um, rub my lips off you know how lip swatch videos go they can be quite rough on the lips so I'm gonna start off easy I'm gonna start off with the lip glosses <laughs> and see how far we get um, I'm really excited to try them. So these are the glasses. The packaging is different. The glasses. Yeah. I have about five. And the names are Sis Connie, Mila, Linda, Rich Aunt, Vibes. Okay, we're trying Rich Aunt first, aren't we? Of course. I don't know what these look like. I don't know the colors. Ooh, that's a bright red. Okay, I want to start off with nudes first. I'm not going to play myself and go with bright colors first. So we, whenever you're doing a lip swatch video, try and start off with nudes. Yeah. It's actually all pretty bright. Except for this middle one. So I'm going to try this one first peachy pink undertone to it it's not fully opaque on first application but we can probably build it up her lip glosses smell pretty sweet i remember the smell from trying her lip glosses the first time and it's a Regular doe foot applicator. It's not a bad gloss. I'm not mad at it at all. I like the color. I think the color is really nice. Um, I could get away with not using a lip liner if I was being super lazy. And I'm just gonna put on some chestnut. Because guys, you know me. I love a new gloss. So that's our first color let me go in with this let me finish up my glasses so i'm gonna do rich aunt which is this vibrant red i love a red gloss oh like i said the products have a very sweet smell to them it might not be for everyone but this texture feels a little bit different to the nude does it i don't know i love a red glass i think it's a very brave choice to wear a red glass um but i think it's so romantic and just very sweet it just looks like very sweet and romantic so i really like the look of a red glass and um i love that i love a red glass you can never catch me hating on a red glass okay so i think i want to do one of oh you know what i want to do I'm gonna do a gloss and a matte so I'm gonna take I'm gonna first take a Dolce Tori and I'm gonna apply this right oh that's nice and then at the bottom oh my god I look funny at the bottom, I'm going to apply the Mila Gloss. Oh, those are two completely different. Because I wanted to see what would happen if... This is definitely a more cool toned purple. Maybe I should have done Mila with Dolce Shady. Yeah, Dolce Shady is more of a match. For Mila. I'm gonna mix the two together. 
I could line it properly, but oof, that feels really nice. I don't know. I think because I mixed the gloss, it feels very nice. But it's still a true matte. See how matte that is? But I did mix it with the gloss, so it looks really, really pretty. I think I'm just going to use a, a clear gloss today. This is called Sis Connie. So this I'm just going to use all over my lips. And you'll see how that wears for the day, just for some moisture. I definitely like this formulation a whole lot more. I spent a lot of time on that. So I hope you guys do check her out. Let's go grab some food. So I'm trying to actually reduce my coffee intake. I know you guys saw me have a cappuccino this morning but it's not as strong as my coffees usually are um, and more than that I'm trying to reduce the amount of coffees I'm drinking to at least like one a day because I was a bit ill last week so last week I started vlogging as you would have seen at the beginning of the vlog I did start vlogging and that was originally meant to be my day in the life video and then um, after the footage of me in the car I had to go to Telcom so I was driving to Telcom basically when I had left the house I had just taken my allergy pill so I was suffering from allergies since morning since I had woken up and throughout the week itself I had been having these consistent headaches every day and um, I didn't know why but I was I realized I was trying to realize I tried trying to keep track of what I had been consuming and I realized that I had been drinking about like four cups of coffee a day like double shots a day right and I don't think I think it's because I've definitely gotten addicted to drinking coffee during this lockdown particularly because I am home all day I mean without lockdown of course I work from home but I'm I would leave the house and do stuff outside, you get occupied, you go outside for some things, you know, you come back and it's and it's such dinner time and stuff like that. So I think with being at home all day, you're just not really realizing how much coffee you're actually drinking. And instead of me drinking water, I'm drinking coffee. So I think, um, so I was getting these consistent headaches and... I'm a kind of person where I would, if I have a headache, I drink coffee. You know, if I don't even have a headache, I drink coffee. So it's almost like my coffee was like trying to medicate. I was trying to medicate with coffee. So you end up drinking so much and it would just add into the problem. So I went and bought some decaf um, Jacob's coffee because that's what I was drinking a lot. And I just think my body just didn't want it anymore so i've just switched back to espresso capsules and my cappuccinos so that one i'm gonna drink once a day and um, i've already had my one of the day which you guys saw me have earlier and um, um i don't even want i don't even i don't even want coffee i don't even want it like I just like to drink something warm. I think it's more about drinking something warm as opposed to wanting caffeine. I'm not the greatest fan of like hot chocolate. I, th I think I don't know how to make it properly. I don't know, it just doesn't taste nice. Um, maybe if I had like mini marshmallows to like put inside the hot chocolate, I don't know. But um, I'm sort of weaning my off coffee, myself off coffee at the moment. So that's what's happening. Let me get my lunch. The other day I made these Sort of like sliced potatoes i grated some cheddar on top i roasted some chicken the most delicious supper ever i'm having it for leftovers i've been looking for my camera everywhere <laughs> i forgot where, where i left it guys okay we need to have a chat um i basically was feeling a little bit sleepy so i wanted to just lie down in my room and I started watching um, 365 because everyone is talking about it like on socials and stuff so I'm like what is this show I had no context going into this all I had been seeing was the main actor the guy and everyone going on about him and him being hot blah blah 
I mean, I read the description and I immediately was like, this is pornography. There's no two ways about it. Straight porn. And I'm like halfway through the movie and my thoughts have been confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so childish. <laughs> How did a show like that make it onto Netflix? I'm so confused. How did a show like that make it onto Netflix? It's intense, bro. It's intense. The acting is okay. I wish they were speaking in their own languages, but I guess they're speaking English because she's Polish and he's Italian. I wish they were both from one country so that it could be more authentic with the languages but I still the English is fine I guess but I don't know I don't mind foreign language forms I like foreign language forms and I prefer for them to speak in their normal in their native tongue and then I'm happy reading subtitles because you just feel the emotion coming through it comes in strong it comes in proper but I guess the movie is in English so I guess it makes sense it's fine but i just wanted to share that i just watched this movie i've i've like paused it i'm halfway through and i just need to take a break because <laughs> there's a lot going on <laughs> anyway so i'm actually just gonna end my vlog here i did end up filming a section of this video where i showed you my new in purchases in my wardrobe but i didn't try them on so i figured i'll just reserve that for a video where i'm actually gonna try some stuff on also because I'm still receiving a couple of orders that I put through as well. So um, I'd rather just film one thing at one go rather than just like mention some things in terms of my clothing hauls and my styling videos um, where you guys can't really envision me in it because I'm not wearing it. So I'll end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it wasn't too boring. But you guys really wanted to vlog and wanted a break from tutorials. So here you go. I think I'm going to continue vlogging throughout this week as well. So I hope we can have another vlog on Thursday. Um, so yeah. See ya.